here. I uh, had a good chance to think about things to say sitting on a plane for 24 hours. And uh, I think uh, coming from Australia to, uh, to Manitou Heights is a absolute revelation from another hemisphere and country to see such a beautiful place. But before I get to the shenanigans, shy, shy little shrinking violet that I am, I should do the right thing and uh, make a couple of thank yous. So firstly, I would like to thank sincerely um, my family for all the assistance throughout the years uh, in getting me through St. Olaf, which is a massive task. <laughs> and uh, I wanted to particularly thank my dad, who's not here with us, but I know he'd be here in spirit. Um, he really wanted this award for me over time. My mother's here, which is great to see. I'm going to carry on to Seattle and see my brother and sister. So first and foremost, my family want to thank. I have a number of family that have made the effort to come and witness this, and it's greatly appreciated. I think the, uh, the main thing that I would say about that is um, the connection on uh, a thing like this, not, not only just the self accolade, something that I really cherish, but from my way of thinking, it's just a really good catalyst to get people together, and I'm sure everyone feels the same way, but that's a key ingredient of a night like this, and I really am humbled and thankful for all the effort that people put in. Now, my, my wife Pauline's not here. She's down in Adelaide. She's working, and uh, a number of reasons she couldn't come, but I'm sure she would uh, love to see this, and I'm, I will getting, be getting some serious, serious mileage out of this, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you start to think about Sound of basketball in the 70s and the time and effort put in and the fun and shenanigans involved. I want to firstly thank Coach Kelly and Jimmy who are in the room tonight. Um, I didn't really appreciate them much, as much as I should have. I was, uh, you were right first. <laughs> was, uh, just one word from them and I did, did just what I liked. <laughs> so in all honesty, as I mentioned to Coach Gelly tonight at the President's function, I think that uh, he was able to actually teach me things that took me only 15 years to learn. So I think, um, uh, you know, when the student's ready, the teacher will be found to a large degree. And um, some of the things that Coach Dimmick and, and Gelly and, and, and Coach Damon and Coach Bolstorff and, the, and the, the staff of St. Olaf did teach me, I didn't get to use them until I actually started coaching myself. And then I realized that it was very, very good and useful advice around preparation and fundamentally sound basketball, teamwork, and things. Fantastic. Now, my sale teammates were second to none. And I've played on a lot of basketball teams over you know, a 20 year career. And I think the main difference around sale sports, and I would say this to the younger ones in the room heading through, you don't get the chance to play with a team and live with a team. There's a big difference. We live together. We spend a lot of time together and we, I can honestly say we would hardly have a single blue or argument within the context of our team. I can't even think of one in four years. There was a bond amongst us that I haven't seen before or after. And I think you know, this is where the fun begins for me. I can do a couple little stories about these times because as I said, you, you probably realize I'm a bit of a shrinking violet and uh, we sort of <laughs> I hate the limelight as well. <laughs> so consequently, I earned a little bit of reputation during my time, and I'll just um, would ask a few of the older folks to, to stretch their gray matter and remember this one. West Gymnasium, Carlton, sophomore year, starting line up introductions. I would love for somebody to tell me as to whether or not anybody else has had a hot dog thrown on the court when you're introduced, because in those days, a hot dog was the same as a show for me or something. That was one. <laughs> I've had that. <laughs> I can recall a time when we were playing Carlton, which, uh, you know, we, we're, we're nice at St. Olaf, we're not that nice. And I can give you a, um, an example of a game, we're down one, 30 seconds on the clock, St. Olaf is down, Carlton has the ball in possession at half court. They are stalling, and it is unbearable, <laughs> unbearable, pass, screen away. Pass, screen away. Keep it spread, pass, screen away. Well, in those days, Bobby Airline was their point guard, and we worked at the same bar together, so he wasn't the sharpest tool in the shed. <laughs> <laughs> and so what I, um, I actually did was uh, figure out the next time he was going to pass and screen, I was going to give him some assistance 
<laughs> so big Papa Billingsley was the umpire that night, the referee, and uh, he took a couple of steps towards me after he screamed away, because I jumped to where he was going to run to, and just took his uniform and just gave him a little love pull towards me, and backed on my back and landed. Big Papa Billingsley was directly behind me, and he said, offensive foul. <laughs> <laughs> I hit them both. We won. And I've never seen Coach Kelly ever do an unscrupulous thing. <laughs> but what he actually did was quite good. He came up and he said, Chris, I don't know what you did, but I'm glad you did it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and I, think, I think the other little quick story would be that we, we got up to some pretty good overall hijinks, too. And, and one year at St. Olaf, the basketball team played against the Carlton side. They didn't camp their uniforms because a couple of the wrestlers managed to get over to Carlton and steal the uniforms. And they didn't give them back until after the game, so they had to play a game against us in their track outfits, and it was hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. But the best news, and I, take, I get to take this one to my grave, the teams that I played a part of, never. N-E-V-E-R, lost to Carlton. No. So that's a good little trivia point I'm almost as proud of as the whole thing. <laughs> so just to sort of move this on, because there's lots of others that need to talk tonight, and I'm sure that I could go on for a long time. There was there was so much fun, and Coach Kelly and everyone, you know, in the summertime to San for the Minnesota University of Minnesota basketball camp with Coach Dutcher and Mikhail and Overding and these sort of guys were here, and we had a ball. So times in the 70s here at San Alfred, for our basketball sports were great. And I just um, wanted to just summarize by saying how this really is a special place. That was a special time, but ultimately, the people that I worked with or played with, I, I didn't really call it work because it wasn't work. It was, they were special people. And it's a real credit to them that they took the time to make the effort to help reconnect. It means a lot to me, and I'm sure it means a lot to them, too. Look, to finish off, you know, it's an individual award, but I guess I just wanted to perhaps end with uh, a couple of things that actually resonated throughout it. One, one thing was uh, in learning how to play as a team, you actually think in terms of, you know, why do good teams work? And I think, you know, when you really get on the stage and you're looking for a good quote, just quote Johnny Wooden, and this one I'll throw out there if anybody follows what he says, but... I would say this for the younger folks out there. Be more concerned about your character. Don't be so much concerned about your reputation. Your character is what you really are. Your reputation is only what people think of you. So it's what you do, not so much just what you say. And ultimately, I just wanted to thank Coach Dimmick for something that he said, which I used with a couple of my players. It's not how many points you score, not how many games you win, but it's the people you touch and the friends you keep in this life that matters. I think it's a very well said thing by him. So thank you all. I really appreciate it. And if you're ever down our, our way, give us a shout. I'll have a cold eat in the fridge for you. And uh, we'll have a laugh. Thank you.